Greetings, coming at you here again. It's another tobacco related topic. Second review of the day. Can you guys believe it? It's a treat. You wanna know why I'm doing a second review in one day? I couldn't handle that new minister stuff. The second I finished that review, dumped that bowl out. Ugh, it was too sickening sweet for me. Don't wanna have anything to do with it. Still getting a uh, stomach ache just thinking about it. So. Instead of loading it into my pipe that I was smoking before with the new minister, I was smoking a Boots Shokan. I loaded up my Peterson to get a fresh experience. To minimize any type of ghosting I may encounter. on Gowith Hogarth and Co. Scotch Mixture. I don't know the specific tobacco composition that's in this blend because I do everything off of memory and what I see visually. You know, and I'm thinking from the taste that I'm getting, there's probably Burley in here, no Latakia, it's not in English whatsoever. But regardless, I'm tasting a little bit of burly. I may be completely wrong, but <laughs> what's the flavor profile? Excellent, excellent. It has a very strange um, flavor profile. It's not an English. It's not an aromatic. You know, it's it's its own unique blend. Okay. I think there is a bit of a casing to this tobacco, but it's not like an aromatic casing, you know. Those are usually heavier, and they smoke different, they taste different, they smell different. The room note on this isn't too bad, but it's not like an aromatic, it's definitely heavier. So, nice smoking experience, cool smoking. Uh, could use a little bit of dry time, maybe five to ten minutes dry time, but I'm impatient, so I stuff it and smoke it. You know how it is. But I get a nice, rich tobacco taste, along with some. It's called Scotch mixture, but I don't taste Scotch as in you know whiskey or like sort of an alcoholic you know, flavor to it like Frogmorton Cellar. When you smoke Frogmorton Cellar, you could taste that like whiskey essence, okay? This doesn't taste like like scotch to me, okay? No alcoholic essences here. More of like a butterscotch candy taste. But it's not sickly sweet like butterscotch is, okay? Don't get me wrong. It's just a nice blast of mild butterscotch mixed with that smokiness that this gives you. It's not a Latakia smokiness, it's a different type of smokiness. It's very nice, very nice. I recommend it. If you're getting tired of Englishes, Latakia bl uh, bombs, you know, Virginia Periques, Burley blends, any type of blends that you may be smoking and you're getting tired of give this a shot because it really refreshes the palate and it's a very unique flavor like I never experienced this in any other blend I smoked before aromatic and otherwise it's its own unique blend it's its own unique flavor now when I think of Gowith, Hogarth & Co. scotch mixture I already know the flavor, but it's like, like you know, if you smoke a Peterson blend, you'll kind of get a general idea of the of the tastes of Petersons or Dunhills. You know, if you smoke Dunhill early morning, then you smoke, smoke Nightcap or some of the other Dunhill blends, you get an overall DNA profile of the whole brand's flavors. They they have different flavors, obviously, but it has that it's it has that Dunhill taste to it. You know, it has that Peterson taste to it. Okay. And all the blends that they come out with have a similar Dunhill vibe to it, uh, DNA to it. This, 
I haven't tried any other uh, Gaweth and Ho Gaweth Hogarth and Co. blends, so I don't know about the DNA of the entire brand, but this is very nice. Very nice. I really recommend it. Overall, uh, strength-wise, not too strong. Probably like a mild to medium. Flavor-wise, I'd say medium body. And overall, it's a great blend. On a rating scale, what do I give it? I gave that uh, New Minister stuff a, a 4 out of 10. I give this an 8.5 out of 10. It's really nice. My, my ratings may change over time. So I'm, I will revisit blends on my channel. So I might smoke this maybe like a week or two or a month or two months later. And I give you a, a different analysis of it. But straight off the bat, first impressions, definitely an 8.5 out of 10. I can see myself smoking this again. Have a good one.